Let's use SketchUp to do a quick master planning study of uh, Oklahoma City. In the Onuma system, there are plugins available for SketchUp and Revit and other tools. So if you go here and to grab the latest uh, SketchUp plugins um, from the add on section of the Onuma system, right here at the top, there's a SketchUp 8. And if you start up SketchUp, the free version or the paid version, you'll get uh, some new functionality within SketchUp. There's a new uh, dialog box here. And let's just start from scratch, from just from an empty SketchUp file. We're going to go and just find Oklahoma City. If you type in Oklahoma City in search, you get a view of Oklahoma City like this in SketchUp. And we'll zoom in on the area that we're interested in. We're interested in this area right here. And select that region in SketchUp. Might as well just select the whole region like this and grab it. And it locates uh, SketchUp, moves it to Oklahoma City. So everything that's built in SketchUp now is actually geospatially referenced. In other words, it has a latitude and a longitude. So let's focus in on this area of Oklahoma City right here. Um, we know that there's going to be a park being proposed in here. There is a uh, mixed-use development area here and there's a riverfront area here that can have mid to high rise buildings. So I'm just going to start creating shapes just directly in SketchUp and the typical SketchUp tool is you can actually figure out a uh, dimension um, of a block like this and uh, s stretch it up. So for example if I say I want to have a uh, 50 story base and I want to have uh, it's step back. I'm being pretty quick here as far as generating shapes. So just to give an idea of how this process works, there is a 100 foot mid-level part of the plan. And maybe I'll have another level up here. That's kind of a housing tower. Same thing here. Stretch it up to about 150 feet. And you can even start to uh, edit this directly in SketchUp. For example, you could uh, do things like this and stretch it up and also even take this entire shape and twist it around a little bit to get a more freeform shape. So we have a pretty uh, complex geometry of a massing model in SketchUp here sitting near the, uh, the riverfront area. And we can do multiple buildings. Let's start with just with one building to get a concept of how this process works. So we have one building here in the uh, Onuma tools here if you add the plugin, you have these uh, tools that are available. And we're just going to select this shape that we created in SketchUp and do one thing here. There's just one button here. It's actually slicing this massing model into floors. So we select that floor element. And now what it's done, it's actually taken this mass that we created and um, created floors from it. You can actually see it. Actually, let's try and select it. that and just to show you the floors. So there are the floors that are sliced out of that mass. This is the massing element created in SketchUp. This is the Onuma plugin and notice that the floors are actually following, the floor slabs are following the exterior shape. So this is a very rapid way of creating a uh, quick design that's going to go into the Onuma system. The difference is that in the Onuma system we're going to start being able to calculate uh, square footages and areas and cost and energy analysis all directly from the simple mass that we created and also by default create a Revit model or an IFC model in BIM from these tools. So the last step in SketchUp is to actually export it as a BIM XML file. We're on the SketchUp desktop application now and on the lower part of this tool here there's a export and it's telling me it's creating one building with 34 floors, 34 slabs. Notice that I didn't say this is 34 floors, it just uh, by default calculated the floor to floor height which you can actually adjust in SketchUp or we can adjust it later. Created 34 floors. I'm going to save that as a um, BIM XML file. Where do you want to save it? And let's call this a 34 story tower and I'll save that into my um, uh, local computer here. I'll just put it on my desktop for now. Okay, so that's all within SketchUp. Now let's go back to the Onuma system, and we're going to go into the uh, BIMStorm Oklahoma City Studio. You won't see as many studios in your project, but this is basically what you would get to. 
Uh, we're going to start a brand new project just from scratch. Add new project. We'll call this a study of massing models. It's a brand new project just from scratch in the Onuma system. And you'll notice that you'll have a project named study of massing models. And below that, you'll say add scheme. We can either start in the Onuma system and start creating floors and buildings. But since we have a SketchUp model, we're going to just start from the SketchUp model. Add scheme from SketchUp. And then it asks you several things here. Find the BIM XML file, which we put on our desktop. Let's go and find that. On the desktop, there's a 34-story, uh, 22 kilobytes. Notice it's very small because it's just carrying minimal geometry. And there's a couple of options here. One is to add core spaces. This is elevators, stairs, restrooms on each floor. It's using a rule of thumb of saying, well, you probably need two stairs on each floor. You can leave that on or off. The other option, which we'll use from a master planning perspective, is add full floor spaces. Essentially, this is saying the first, second, third floor is going to be commercial, the upper floors are going to be uh, offices, and the, uh, the top floors are going to be residential. We can start slicing that later on, but by creating full floor spaces, it's just taking a slab of each floor and creating a space that can later on be categorized as a residential floor, which becomes important when you start looking at a city level planning model to be able to calculate. We'll leave this as a default full, full set of value lists. These are the attributes that are associated with the scheme because we're starting from zero, essentially just creating a new scheme. So it says, okay, once I said proceed, it says this BIM XML file is called a building one and it has 33 floors. There are zero spaces in it because there is nothing inside the uh, SketchUp model. We just created slabs. We'll say go ahead and proceed. So it's going to process that. Damn it. In the Onuma system now, we see this new building that was originally created in SketchUp. Notice that it's actually on the site that we placed it in SketchUp. And if you look at this in 3D in the Onuma system, it flies to Oklahoma City, places the building on the site. And let's take a closer look at this. Notice that it actually has placed it on the site and it's created slabs for each floor that follow the massing model that we created in SketchUp. And it has each floor, we still haven't categorized what goes on each floor, but at least it has the square footage and the model inside the Onuma system with all the attributes associated with it. So if we click on that floor, it shows how many square feet it is. Let's turn off the floor slabs for a second. Just look at the masses on each floor. They're kind of ghosted out here, but let's actually turn this into a color-coded model so you see that this is a new building and you'll notice if you look closely that the floors are stepping back per floor and we have square footage per floor which we can now categorize by use and if you look at the report in the Onuma system site report we only have one building now, but it actually has given us uh, the calculation. It's a huge building, 760,000 uh, square feet gross, 756. The total uh, construction cost by default sitting on 1.6 acres, the utility summary per year, and the operations and maintenance cost based on square footage and based on the default values. We select the individual building. We have one building only, and we look at the building report. This is specific to the building now, but now it actually gives us a little bit more information. It actually has a floor by floor square footage. You'll notice it's 33 stories and how much is on each floor. We haven't categorized the space, so it's all gray. It's just basically empty space. Now we can actually go through and say that the, the ground floors are commercial, for example, and you'll get another report that shows the difference between each one. All of this model data can now be exported back out if, if you need to, back out to Revit or back even to SketchUp or back to an Excel file. There's a lot of export potential directly from here. So within a few minutes, we've, we've essentially created a massing model on a site from SketchUp, imported it into Anuma, created a Revit model, created a BIM with IFC data, created a Kobe output, created a SketchUp output, a Google Earth output that can continue, can continue to refine either directly in Onuma or with the other tools.